from our oh, yeah, we didn't do breakfast, this yet. Date We're doing a breakfast date in France. We got baguette, a coffee, and guess what? That rest day worked out. I got up this morning, didn't run one, didn't run two, ran five miles. Longest so far. My goal is next weekend to do the, do a 10K next weekend or the weekend after. Because it's a little over six. Yeah. But I'm going to play it cooler the rest of the week because I'm already hurt. Are you eating bread? Thanks for that, that great uh, breakfast date in France. You're um, we spent too much time because according to the sundial, it is infinity o'clock! Because the sun's nowhere to be found today. I have no idea where that is going. <laughs> That's the best part about marrying me, isn't it? So now that our bellies are full, we are going to... Uh, Still got my coffee. Yeah, well our bellies are full from the bread. Yeah. We're going to go see all the food. Yeah, it's good. Let's go have some fun. And there's do a, I look artsy? You do look artsy. And we have to, do I look like a founding father with this hair? You look like an artsy founding father. Okay. This place is super cool. All the arts, all the, the jewelry is made of fruits and stuff. Like, like these are actual coffee beans. Cantaloupe seeds. It looks like chains, but it's actually thread. This is blowing my mind. I want to buy everything. Just so And there's no them. there's no expiration date. It's literally just like they preserve them. Yeah, I'm curious to see how it hold up in the community because like water would affect it. But mm -hmm. I'd do it if I We haven't really splurged that much since moving here, other than like the occasional food treat. But we splurged today. Mm -hmm. We probably should have taken a whole lap, but this just <laughs> no. captured our hearts. <laughs> Look at this. Guys, are you kidding me? It's beautiful. It's all of the pavilions in order. They told us about all the hidden Mickeys and hidden characters in it. And then he signed it for us. Yeah. He's a gem. Oh my And it's gosh. in order. And it's and we, <laughs> we haven't bought any, actually we haven't bought any art in a long time. Let's get a nice frame. Yeah. I mean, it was $50. It wasn't, don't think it was like $100 or something like yeah, that. But, and it's a print, but it's still, look at the matting. It's so unique and beautiful and sunset and. We'll put his information in somewhere. Yeah. We got this wonderful piece of artwork for being pass holders. Look at the little Look at the bell. Princess. It's like real edgy. Yeah. But super nice and you get them um, free if you're an annual pass holder at the American Pavilion. Bring a photo ID. They were denying people if they have no photo ID. So hooray for the red, white, and blue. Yeah. 
tables, we would let them know that we were a federated group of local communities bound together by one strong central government. The phrase, e pluribus unum, would tell them we were scholars who understood foreign languages. The word liberty. Considering the penny they would wonder, why did they ever go astray? Our mothers come to thee, author of liberty, to thee we sing. Let mortal tongues awake, let all that breathe partake. Let rocks their silence break. Let freedom reign. Never experienced it. and that was like almost Cirque like but not Cirque like. Yeah, that was but it was like interpretive dancing at the same time. So it was definitely like not just strength, but there was like art. Yeah. Whoa. It was art defying gravity. It was art defying gravity. Check this out. So these are screen printed t-shirts here in real time. You get your custom shirts made. Look at that. I think it goes through here to like seal it. That is super fancy. Now we're gonna go to the I'm gonna So we're supposed to make our way back to the Festival Center, but we this was on the way, and so we wanted to come check this out, the screen printing, and then the Artists of Tomorrow. So this is a special exhibit, celebrates the power of imagination as seen, the, as seen through the eyes of young artists. So these are all like young children. I actually, it's funny, one of my, a lot of my, uh, my college, a lot of my college projects, I had my, um, young cousins like help me and kind of do stuff like this for a lot of the little ones you've seen in our vlogs when we yeah, go back to Chicago put their artwork in the gallery setting like glorifying it as you know just as worthy of like being in a gallery and that was like a lot of my work at that so yeah so this is super cool that, that they're essentially doing the same idea here On the way to the festival center, guess what we found? Forced Perspective Chalk Art. Interactive 3D Chalk. Oh, so eventually. Yeah, so eventually it'll eventually be like that. It'll be like this, once it's done. To be honest, I forgot this was happening. I forgot the chalk art was a thing. Oh. Space Mickey. <gasps> Eve, your best friend's here and you didn't even know it. This is all chalk, isn't that incredible? See like, 
That man over there is like painting with the chalk. These two wonderful artists are actually using like chalk sticks and actually getting in there with all that fine detail. Wow. Look at that. Just when you thought the chalk art was over, we're on the kids' chalk art. Wow. I wonder, oh, the boxes are over here. So you can literally go see, uh, you could come in here and just add your own pieces of art to it. Look at that cool Mickey. But, 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 I got bamboozled again, just like Festival of Holidays. Alright, so it just seemed like a second ago when Sarah was like, but, 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 can we go through it? Here we are. We're back at the attraction posters to check them all out. Ooh, I never heard that, that statement before. Walt Disney thought of his theme parks as dimensional motion pictures. So that's why they all needed uh, attraction posters. <gasps> Look at this. This one's called a kiss goodnight. It's <gasps> a pop-up pop Pixar book. Look at this thing. Pixar short. Oh. That's my favorite one, guys. Jerry's game. Oh. <laughs> oh. What's new? Go to like 2017. Eve. Eve. That's why our dog that's who our dog is named after. Coco. <gasps> <gasps> dimple or <No> dimple? <laughs> Amazing, how much is it? This book, $65. $65. Well, we already splurged on our beautiful piece of art. We actually have this. We need to get a new bookshelf because we broke ours on the way down from Florida. We have a whole slew of like amazing Disney edition hardcover books and things like the Nine Old Men sketchbook or flip books that we can put on display. This is one I want to get really soon too, Ink and Paint, The Women of Walt Disney's Animation. Yeah. And Don Hahn's Yesterday's Tomorrow. Neither have I. And we need all of it. We need, that's it Sarah, we just need all of it. Simple as that. All the different haunted mansions, because each, each Magic Kingdom has one. Wow. That's super cool. That's my favorite ride of Space Mountain. I want to go on all the Space Mountains. I got a um, job denial. From Just like, now? Yeah. That's funny. It's been like six months. Uh oh, wait till you see the, all the small world, Sarah. <laughs> and last but not least, all the Dumbos. Super cool. Cool. been a couple hours but we're home we've been doing some work i did some podcast work for park hop the podcast episode two is going up tomorrow it'll be up by the time this is up i believe but i don't know because i might go edit this sarah's wasn't feeling good she was having an allergic reaction so she has been resting and it's like not even 10 debating if i'm just gonna go to bed now or go edit this vlog go do stuff for the podcast go do stuff for the instagrams and twitters or just kind of lay low I think I might go to bed, because if I go to bed now, I might be able to get another good long run in tomorrow, but we'll see. Um, I'll let you know tomorrow, but tomorrow morning we have a fun experience planned, or like scheduled, that I'm interested to see how it goes. I'm really excited, so we can't wait to show you. Um, 
you'll see it on Instagram, I'm sure, but before this vlog goes up on Monday. But I have Monday off too, so we have a fun, long weekend. So thank you again for following along today. It was a fun day at the Food and Wine, or not Food and Wine, Festival of the Arts, where we got to see all the artwork today, and uh, it's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.